Welcome to Google Translate 303. In this tutorial, you will learn how the Google Translator Toolkit works and how to use some of its functions. As mentioned in the previous video, the Translator Toolkit is designed to give you control over translated material, allowing you to edit files and documents that Google translates line by line to ensure precise accuracy. You can also share material with other people over the web to collaborate as a group. To get started translating material, click the red Upload button at the top of the screen. On the Upload page, you will see three tabs. These tabs indicate the different material that Google will allow you to modify through translation. They include any local file that is saved on your computer, specific websites, and Wikipedia articles that you can edit and repost in another language. Under the Local File tab, you will be given a list of the document types that are currently allowed to be uploaded into the toolkit. To upload a file from your computer, click the Choose File button. A window will pop up directing you to choose a file from your computer. When you find the one you want, click Open. In the top text box, the toolkit will allow you to rename the file. This will not rename the file on your computer, but only the file used for editing in the toolkit. Next, choose the appropriate from and to languages for Google to automatically translate before you begin editing. At the bottom of your options, you will see a drop-down arrow titled Sharing. The option offers two tools, translation memories and glossaries. A translation memory is a database of previous translations. When you write a sentence, Google will search all previous translations in their public database similar to your sentence that were created by other people. If it finds similar translations, it will show them to you to enhance efficiency. The glossary option is a database that includes specialized terms that would not be in automatic translation. An example would be terms used in computer programming, or any specific terms that might be different than what an automatic translation would produce. For now, we will use the default Universal Public Translation Memory option and No Glossary. When you are done, click Upload for Translation. When Google finishes converting your file, it will format it and show in two separate panes. The left pane will show the file in its original language, while the right pane will show it in its converted language. You can give a window more space by clicking and dragging the center bar. As you can see, Google allows you to personally edit each segment. On the right, each individual sentence is put inside its own translate box. On the left, the corresponding sentence is highlighted in yellow. In each translation box, there are options listed at the bottom, which include the ability to add HTML tags to the sentence to customize the way it looks. This will be explained more in depth later on. There is also the option to delete the translated sentence in its entirety. Doing so will not delete the original sentence on the left. You can also mix translations. If you find a sentence in the translated text that you want to keep in the source language, for instance, a quote in a Spanish story that is spoken in English, click the Copy Source to Translation button. This will replace the translated segment with original text. To move from segment to segment, you can either click the forward or reverse arrows, or you can skip to any segment on the page by clicking the sentence you would like to edit. The next video will explain the tools listed at the top of the page. 